Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Amish mustard eggs. Um, these are Jim's favorite. What we're going to use is six hard boiled eggs, but you can use 12 or cut it down or double it. Um, we're going to use two tablespoons of yellow mustard. You can also add food dye if you want. Um, we're going to use six tablespoons of white vinegar as well as six tablespoons of water. Um, you can, uh, don't forget, you can double this recipe if you're doing a dozen eggs. Five tablespoons of sugar, plus or minus a teaspoon is fine. A, ha a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And this is just table salt, but you can use pink salt or sea salt, just accommodate according to taste. But basically, we're going to pickle these. So we're going to use two tablespoons of yellow mustard, and I'm using my little tablespoon plunger measuring device. Um, I believe I got this at a kitchen store somewhere. I don't know. Actually, did I get that one at the Dollar Tree? I might have got that one at the Dollar Tree. And then in a saucepan, a small saucepan, we're going to add the water. And that's six tablespoons of water. And we're going to add the white vinegar. And again, that's six tablespoons of white vinegar. Um, so I've seen different recipes. Um, they have recipes that have like mustard seed and celery seed and all these things. But Jim just really likes the plain yellow mustard flavor. Um, there are, like I said, lots of different variations, but, uh, pretty much every recipe that I've ever seen or tried has always been basically a cooked, uh, brine. You basically cook this on the stove, but we're just gathering the ingredients here together. So everything's going to go in the pot together. Um, water, vinegar, mustard, the sugar, and the salt. Now I mentioned in the, um, ingredients list, but I didn't show a picture of it. You can add food coloring to this if you so desire. It's totally optional. It just gives you more of a yellow coloring to the eggs. But if you're going for flavor over appearance, like you don't have to do it. It's not a necessity. But I'm going to go ahead and add one drop of yellow food, liquid food coloring to this um, after I cook it. That's the only thing I was going to say. So now I'm going to put this on the stove on high. And only just going to bring it to a boil, okay? We're going to um, not even whisk it the entire time, you know, just when it starts to get hot. We're going to go ahead and whisk it. And um, what you want to do in preparation, besides have your eggs boiled and peeled, is you want to have a jar. Um, so I have this pint-sized wide mouth mason jar, which six eggs really did fit in but they wouldn't have pickled properly um so i'm gonna end up recycling a no i'm gonna end up taking one of them out but in the past i've just used recycled jars like recycled pickle jars or um a red cabbage jar uh, is actually one of the options i was thinking about today um, just make sure you wash them and i've run them to the dishwasher especially if it's a pickle jar you don't have to worry too much about it um, it's not like you, you know, you don't want to put sugar in a pickle jar and sometimes that vinegar doesn't go away. But um, if you're going to pickle something in a pickle jar, that's fine. And because these aren't being stored like permanently, you could. That's a whole canning process that we're not going to get into. Um, but because these aren't being stored in a closet forever and ever, they're just refrigerator pickles. I'm not worried about the, the um, integrity of my jar lid. All right. And I know, Jim, six of these will not last three days. Um, so I'm not worried about their shelf stability. Okay. The longest part of this process is waiting the 72 hours for them to pickle properly. For him, he said it's like torture, honestly. <laughs> I think the longest process is trying to peel the eggs, but that's another, that's another episode entirely. So as you can see up there in the corner, um, it has come to a boil. So we're going to go ahead and do the final step. And this, again, is just optional if you want to add that yellow color to enhance that yellow color, I should say. We're just going to add a drop of yellow food coloring. This is liquid food coloring. Um, again, this is entirely optional. They will get a very pale yellow with just the mustard, um, you know, just the coloring from the mustard itself. But um, just to enhance that yellow um, color. We're just going to go ahead and add a um, drop of yellow food coloring and then um, we, we whisk it in and then we just pour them over the pickles. I mean, um, pour them over the pickles. Yeah, sure. 
Uh huh. Pour them over the eggs. <laughs> um, you don't wait for it to cool down or anything. Um, you just do it while it's hot and make sure all of your mustard has um, broken down. And you'll see it kind of um, when you first do it, there's like little chunks of mustard in there. Um, and then as you start to boil it down, they start to dissolve into one smooth liquid. Um, so this is us deciding whether or not we're going <laughs> to. What are we going to do? Well, I, I said, you know, I could get the lid on of the six eggs. But he's like, well, then they won't really get liquid all around them. There'll be white spots. And not that the white spots are objectionable looking, like, because it's just for him. But then that means that the marinade didn't get to all of those. So as you can see, the cover will go on. It's just uh, we decided to give them a little bit more room. Okay. So he's going to take one out. And again, if you were doubling or tripling this recipe or even having it, just use the appropriate size jar um, after we took one out. Yeah, he's soaking it and he's so funny. Um, now we're going to go, um, just to show you, the lid goes on okay. It doesn't overflow. That's important. You want it to fill up but not overflow. Um, but what we're actually going to do uh, once we take the jar off again is we're going to take a butter knife and we're gonna get out some of the air pockets he just wants to make sure we have enough let it we can get it on without it leaking before we go ahead and do that all right and you can see there you can see that wherever it touches the glass is not going to get yellow um but we want it to pickle a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take a butter knife i'm going to open the jar back up again and i'm going to work um the not air pockets necessarily but i'm going to work some liquid between the eggs and the side of the jar. Now, normally I would fill that back up with liquid because you do, you know, basically find air pockets. But Jim um, jumped ahead and threw it out. <laughs> he, he forgot we had to do that step. So that's it. Then you put them in the refrigerator. Um, and again, you marinate them for 72 hours. But every day you go in and shake the jar just to get that liquid to distribute around all of the eggs. And then on the end of the 72-hour period, day three, you get to enjoy... So here he is enjoying, oh, he's so excited. <laughs> I personally have never eaten these before. I, I'm sure that they're good, but because it's something he loves so much, I just make them for him. I should try them one day, shouldn't I? What do you guys think? Yep, probably. Um, I'm sure I would love it. It's got all the flavors that I would love. Um, but that's it. So I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you've never had these before, give them a try. Um, if you're somebody who's had them, if they visited Amish country and just never made them, I wanted to show you guys how easy they really are. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in, <laughs> in learning how to make these. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye.